Namaste, my Zen Zebras, my Merry Mermaids, my Merman, Merman, my Unique Unicorns, my Namaste Ninjas, my Dream Catchers. That never worked, but I throw it in there. Uh, Bella Butterflies, Unique Unicorns. Okay, I said that. All right, this is not a live. This is a video. I can't take any chances with that live. What happened was, those of you who watched it, it went, um, Happy New Year, by the way. Um, it went to go for my walk, finally, after I took a nap. I didn't never do that. I woke up, me and Devin woke up, we, we were on the couch. He was on, I'm on the couch, he's on his chair. And we woke up, zebras, these earrings are so old. I think I have them like 25 years at least. Anyway, um, he always goes to sleep, right? He always takes a nap. But last night I had a, a bad pain and it wouldn't go away. So I went in the shower to figure and the warm water would help me um, and it did but I was screaming <laughs> I was screaming Devin heard me screaming but I was like well then why didn't you do anything he was one what, what can I do it's like tell me you're there anyway um, and it helped oh by the way this is a walk and talk because <laughs> I, I don't get any credit for that walk I took yesterday even though it was a pretty good walk because I put it on live and then my phone went dead and it's probably not great now my phone is battery is probably not great right now but I'm gonna try the walk and talk anyway and then just use it as a video um, but anyway yeah so I had that bad pain and um, I gotta pray for it to go away and just like do showers but I couldn't even use any soap like I use soap on my body of course but I couldn't use any soap you know where like special soap because it was like I'm in a lot of pain anyway that's probably why I fell asleep because then Devin we went to go get my medicine my sleep medicine the pharmacist was nice enough to go and get my medicine to put the order in but I would I called him up and I told him I'm so sorry I'm late to call up you got to call up like five to seven days beforehand when you still have supply left hi hi <laughs> Talk was giving me a dirty look. Anyway, um, and of course I called up when I only had two left or one left, and I called up at like twelve o'clock at night. Of course they're closed, but I just put the order in. And then I realized the doctor won't be there till Tuesday, and I can't be without my sleep medicine because I even when I take it I don't sleep. I, I took it at like 2 in the morning, then I was in the shower at 3, because I, w oh, I was awake, of course. And then, no, don't worry, I don't fall asleep in the shower, because um, you're, you're basically standing. Anyway, let's cross the old street, go down this road here, because so I discovered this new place. The other side of this place is really, pr really, really pretty. I think it's a title company. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm not walking that fast. Not that ambitious. I'm just giving myself credit for going out to take a walk on New Year's Eve. Um, I already made, uh, what did I make? Macaroni and cheese. I can't say that word. That word is just not there. I, I went, went to say it like four times today. <laughs> I wasn't there. Anyway, so um, 
he ended up going without me because I was just so still so tired. And then when he picked me up on the way home, then we went out to the store together to get like the hors d'oeuvres and the stuff we needed from the store. So <coughs> for New Year's Eve, like we have, you know, we, we get the hot dogs and um, pizza things, pizza rolls and stuff like that. And he was like, when should we start cooking it? I go, uh, excuse me, like only his brother comes. But I go, excuse me, it's like five o'clock. He goes, yeah, but what about dinner? I was like, I'm good. You know, I had the macaroni and cheese. I have the macaroni and cheese or have the sandwiches, some of the sandwiches he bought. Like he bought way too much stuff. See, I always want to go out, go somewhere on New Year's Eve after Christmas and having, you know, all that jazz with Christmas and cooking in the cleaning. I didn't even start cleaning. And it's pretty. <laughs> we were just here yesterday, but back here again now this isn't even a house but somebody could live there I'm gonna go in there and see how much it would be I would love to rent something maybe it would be cheap because if nobody's here all day all night well, they hear it during the day but why not rent out a room I, I could use that room for my art and my readings Oof. Anyway. So. A case came. A couple of people. A very good friend. And a very good sub. Um, had asked me about a case. And. Yesterday I was talking all about. John, Ber John Benet Ramsey. And I feel like I cracked the case. And then. My whole life. Oh that's what I was getting to. I was doing a live, right, as I was walking, walking and talking, and I walked all the way by the dental office and the funeral home, and I did this whole big walk and talk, and I touched the garbage can many times. And my um, my moderators and friends, Ruby, Tracy, and <clears throat> Ruby and Tracy were there, and I think Tammy was there towards the end. But anyhow, what happened was my phone went dead. So I could not see me to see you guys. And even when I do have, um, when I do lives lately, I haven't, unless I'm home, I'm not able to see the chat at all. Like no chat comes up. Well, it came up for a little while, but then it disappeared. Anyway, I just figured my phone went dead. So I walked myself home. I wasn't done with my walk. So I put my phone, plugged it in, and took my iPad and went back out because I needed to finish like the last 10 minutes because I'm trying to push myself for at least a half hour um, or 20 minutes. <laughs> And that would be good if I could do at least that and then you could build up from there. I used to do, sometimes I would do an hour, two hours of walking. And, but you got to build yourself up again. Right? Right, queen. Anyway. So, long story short, me and Devin go out. After I finish my walk, I feed the animals, the rabbit, the two dogs. And I go back out reason why I'm huffing and puffing is because I'm going up a hill right now here you don't believe <sighs> see anyway um so what had happened was um yeah I put my makeup on today I had my shower put my makeup on and I feel always feel better put my face on I was looking terrible and this hair needs to get cut, but I'm going to tell you something about that in a minute. Devin thinks I should do it with the, that lady, but anyhow, let me not jump around. I don't know if that's possible. But anyhow, so 
um, doing this live streaming, I only had probably 20 people. No, am I kidding? 10 people, right? And I plugged the phone in. I didn't know the phone was still hooked up to the internet because I never ended the live. That's another thing I don't like about um, live streaming because it's really, you know, so what happened was we get back from, we went to look at the lights, then we went to Dairy Queen, right, to get a little ice cream. We had a real date. So after that, we get home. Now it's like three hours later, it's 8, 8.30, maybe quarter to a nine. And I look at my phone, it's at 90, but it's really hot. It's plugged in. I have 35 messages, missed messages. And I'm like, now I'm in, a, I'm in sister line with my sisters and with my friends. And I'm like, why would they be? And then I start seeing Ruby saying, Tracy saying, you're still live streaming. You never ended the live stream. So we kind of could hear what's going on in your house. But, I mean, nobody was home. Um, really just, um, I mean, my, my stepson came home from work. But he just talks to himself, his friends. He goes and plays, like, video games and was probably talking to them because we weren't home. So, anyhow... I was like embarrassed. I was like, do you, do you think you heard anything? She's, everybody told me they were trying to get me for all this time. And they had to jump off because they had lives to do. Their own, you know, families to take care of. And I didn't expect anybody to stay on there. I wasn't even there. But, um, yeah, so note to self. Whenever, I wish moderators were able to turn it off. But I ended up... Seeing that live was like three hours long, but really I only did 30 minutes of talking. Um, and I erased it. I deleted it. So, and that, that's okay. I got millions of videos that people could watch. Um, that was just a walk and talk and I decided to do, the, you know, to actually do it with people watching me. And I really should not be walking on the street know why let me go this way because um it's new year's eve so i know people don't start this early a lot of people are working but i wonder if i can get over to the street but i live on like a very busy street and my car got totaled just sitting in front of the house got totaled and we brought that car it was called sapphire yeah, I named my cars. I never really was in love with the car that I have now. It was Midnight, um, Midnight Buddha. Midnight Buddha, but not really in love with it. I, I loved my SUV um, that we had a ship from New York all the way here. Now, I wonder if I could take this road. This is what I'm looking at, guys. Does that road connect? I don't think it does. And I don't want to walk in any grass because, of course, I have my slipper shoes on again. Oh, I'm going to have to walk in the street. Where did I come in that it connected? Over there? Oh, it's getting dark, so... You know what? I'm just going to go on the regular street. Take my chances. Hopefully, I'll make it. But, yeah, so... Sorry about that. If you missed it, you didn't miss that much ex except that I figured, I think I figured out who c killed John Benet Ramsey. Now, I have done at least three videos like years ago. I was in a pink shirt. Um, I put them, I posted all of them on my community page. I was watching them and I was like, hey, I was pretty good. <laughs> hey, where did that girl go? Um, Plus, I looked skinnier, so I was probably in the gym at that point. So, I mean, it's a new year. I could start the gym again. 
I can always start the gym. I'm always in it. But anyhow, so see how these cars, they come so close. There's no, I'm going to be walking on no sidewalk. So hopefully, wish me luck. Archangel, dear God, please let Archangel Michael help me with walking so that I walk safely. Because I need to get my walk in. Because there's no reason for me to just be sitting around in my house and then cooking dinner and cleaning up and getting my drink on without having at least a half hour walk. So that's what I decided I'm going to do. I'm going to push myself and I write it down on my calendar. I didn't write down yesterday because we went straight out to go look at Christmas lights and then the whole fiasco. So I'll be writing it on my new calendar that um, DC gave me. Um, anyhow, so sorry about that whole thing. Uh, it happens to the best of us. So yeah, so I will be doing a fourth one. I know I went off on a tangent. I went off on 75 tangents. Well, somebody is making hamburgers because I can smell it. Because it's really warm in Texas. I mean, I need you need a jacket. But you could actually walk around without a jacket if you wanted. But anyhow, one second, guys. Let me just cross the street. Now we'll get into sidewalk, so I'm happy. Get to get on the sidewalk. Can I get a sidewalk? Boop boop. So I hope everybody's having a nice New, New Year's Eve day, going into New Year's Eve. So, yeah. I'm excited about my JonBenet Ramsey, even if nobody else is excited about her. Um, but I feel like if I get that fourth video out, it'll be my fourth video and probably final. Probably final. Um, I don't know if there's much interest anymore, but I felt there was a knowing. And I was like, I friggin' know what the story is now. So you'll have to watch it. First I have to make it. Then you'll have to watch it. Okay. So that's one. I was happy that I started to feel the knowing. Okay. And it's it's scary because you don't want, like, you don't want the mother to be guilty. And I don't think she is. You don't want the father to be guilty. But I think he is. You don't want the little brother to be guilty. A lot of people think thought he was. And I thought he was too. Um, but I kept going back to it. And I was like, you know what? He didn't do it. Then I asked John Benet Ramsey. I was channeling her. And I have my notes, so I'll do it. She told me to read my notes. I'll, uh, but first I'll be prayered up. I'll kick it the old Mystic Brady way. And I'll do my prayers. And it'll be all good in the neighborhood. Oh. Now, I don't even know how long I'm walking. 18 minutes. See, my back starts to hurt. I wonder if I should cross the street. Elf is in the window, and I thought it was a person again. Yeah, I'm going to cross the street only because it's nicer on this other side. It's just that I don't like to go in the dark because I can't see, number one. Number two, I, uh, dogs get loose. A lot of dogs are loose and I don't want to get attacked. And as you can see, nobody is out. See all these people out? <laughs> There's all the people. That might be a potential friend. Did I say potential friend again? Just ignore me. All right, so I know why I was tired also because I forgot, I took my coffee pills, but I didn't take, and I had one and a half cups of coffee, which is not a lot, so I might have another one. 
but I didn't take my vitamins, um, my balance of nature, so I got to take those. Then I have a pH pill, um, that's really not doing it. It's supposed to be good for my pH and my body, but I don't know. It's feeling like acid coming out, so I know, TMI, TMI. Look at this little house. Isn't that nice? I like how the bricks are lined up. You never, ever, ever see anybody out. Ever. Like if I go over by the chicken's house. But I'm not going to go by the chicken's house. I just want to... Alright, now that's 20 minutes I'm walking. That's good. That's good. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm about to tell you about my other case that I'm going to be telling you guys about. Um... A couple of friends and a couple of very good clients and subs of mine had asked me, hey, did you hear about that pregnant teenager in Texas that was found dead in the car with her boyfriend? She was nine months pregnant. She was scheduled to go in for a C-section because she was very overdue. And I was like, I heard about it, but I didn't d dive into it. Well, guess what? I dove into it because she requested it, that I do it. So I said, I will do it. And I sat at my drawing board with my notes and I got, you know, I write down the facts. I watched a couple of news things about it. I wrote down the facts. And then I start asking, I write down her name three times, Savannah Soto, Savannah Soto, Savannah Soto, and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerrera. I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly, but Matthew Gaidata. Forever Bella, you'll have to tell me how to say his name or anybody that knows his last name. I know how it's spelled but I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Okay. So, anyhow, they were high school sweethearts, but meanwhile, when she was 15, she met him, and he was four years older. So, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, if they were in high school together and he was 19, I think he was left back a few years, according to my math. Okay, so that's one thing. I'm going to cross the street and get by my house because um, it's starting to get busy. I know it doesn't look busy, but um, it's dark. So, hold up, hold up. I've been walking these streets for eight years now, over eight years. I used to do them much more, and I'm promising myself... That's one thing I want to go back to, is walking around my neighborhood. Because when it's nice, when it's winter, it's really nice weather to walk in. When it's the hot sun, it's really, I used to do it anyway though. But um, this, this kind of weather is really nice to walk in. I mean, look, it looks like a hay. Look at this, look at my trees. These are my trees. I have four trees because I have four kids. No mail. Oh, that's right, it's Sunday. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk like in front of my house. And so this girl, Savannah, beautiful girl, um, was going out with this guy, Matthew Guerrera. And He's involved with guns, drugs, okay, allegedly, all right, but for sure, all right, but allegedly. And everything I say is in my opinion, but this is not the reading, um, although I did write down some things because I was getting, when I write down somebody's name, and I write it three times, and I say a little prayer, 
Sometimes I get an answer and some people say, is it too early because they were just found like they were dead in the car for like three or four days, according to the cops. So some people say, is it too early? Well, years ago when my father died and I was involved with these people that where I used to read palms and cards and, and it was a um, massage parlor like Reiki and healing parlor and sometimes they would have psychic fairs. So I met a channeler and I didn't know, this is back in the 90s, and I didn't really know what channeling was. I didn't do it at first. She told me that I was going to be doing that. And then I did it for a little while and I didn't like it and I asked God to shut it off um, because I was raising my kids and whatnot. So I didn't want it. I felt like creeped out by it. But anyhow, long story short, my father passed away and I said, can I get a reading? And she, we would always barter, you know. I would read her for free, then she'd read me for free. And that's how we did it in the psychic world back in the day. It was fun. It was cool because, you know, didn't really have the money. So, long story longer. <laughs> um, what happened was, I'm just looking at the purple tree. It's really pretty. Let me show you. This is what Devin did for me. He did the purple here for me. There's Mother Mary. She pretty. Right under our bedroom. And then there's the deer. And all these lights. Which I wanted these solar lights to be lined up over by the walkway, but I can't tell him what to do because he's basically doing it all. He does it all on his own. See in there? Yeah, he's in there playing cards, see? Yeah, Devin's playing cards. We got him on tape. <laughs> and there's Elf. Creepy. Creepy Elf. We just watched Elf the other day. The other night. And there's the purple ones over here. See an angel. Christmas tree. I'm over it. And the train and Santa. I'm over it. Yeah, a stack that you see there. Okay, I gotta walk a little bit more because to make it 30 minutes because I stopped a little bit. Okay, no rest for the weary. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, the, she told me, I said, can I get a, a channel reading about my father? Because he just passed away. She said, usually we like to wait 30 days. And I said, why? <laughs> she goes, because that's how long it takes the souls to go up to heaven. And or for the souls to understand what, where they are. And she was like, I could try to do it beforehand. I could try to do it beforehand. She goes, the only problem with that is if I do it beforehand, might not get that many answers and but I might get answers more from your mom because she's already been there for many years so I was like oh do it do it do it because I, I wanted to hear from my mom more um anyway so I'm pretty sure I waited a little bit and then she did it uh I forget what she said it was just so long ago it was like we're talking about 30 years ago or more but anyway yeah because my son is 30 and my dad died like two years before my son was born so we're talking about 1991 <laughs> so talking about yeah 1991 so that's a long time ago anyway um, I do remember that she said that but I haven't felt that way because I have read the souls of people who like when Suzanne Morphew um, went missing. That was kind of at the beginning of my journey of really pushing hard to find the missing. And because I did it on Staten Island, New York for the cops. 
um, and I did it with cards and I, I tried to tap in but I really didn't know what I was doing I didn't write the name out you know like now I'm more organized and I've been doing it for a million years so I feel confident in myself sue me so sue me anyhow um, you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in what you could do and what you're capable of doing and also have the knowledge of where you draw the limit like I'm not great at mapping because I have terrible sense of location but you know who's great at mapping who's a friggin diamond at mapping uh, a Ruby just a Texas medium and that's not just because we're friends she is excellent at it she could sit there and look at three different screens and just she's channeling in her head as she's looking at the maps so she's doing like three she's juggling three different things when she's doing the mapping I'm not good at that I'm better at I think in my opinion tapping in to the actual person because I remember Suzanne was like no I'm not I'm like are you earthbound are you still alive or are you in heaven or like in between she's like Katrina my life was taken and it's like a weird thing it's like a a shade is pulled down that's the feeling I get so other than that um, I, I felt that same way with Summer I felt the same way with um, Michael I didn't feel the same way Michael I felt like for a few months he was alive Okay, I don't know if it's true or not, but they had proof that he was deceased. They haven't found his body yet. Um, so anyhow, I'm just trying to tell you that I, I could tap in um, and feel whether it's maybe they're still there or no, it, they're gone. And I was hoping that this girl would not be gone. And at first I thought it was a murder-suicide. Uh, but no, it's not. There's bullet casings found in the car. Uh, the boyfriend was found in the back seat, allegedly, with his pants off or down. And something is missing between his legs, allegedly. Both of them were shot behind the right ear. <laughs> the girl... Uh, Savannah, beautiful Savannah, getting ready to give birth. Um, actually, they were supposed to be driving there. Um, had a baby seat on her lap in the passenger seat of the car. Anyhow, I'm going to try to do it. It, d it just depends on how noisy my house is, and it's New Year's Eve, so it's kind of distracting. And i got to get my drink on. I don't have to, but, you know, it's New Year's Eve. I have champagne. Okay, but anyhow, I will do it. And hopefully it's not too late, but um, they're looking. I think they'll find the people. Uh, a lot of, Some people are saying it's a cartel hit. Um, I don't know if it's a cartel hit. Um, it might be um, t they tried to make it look like a cartel hit. Or it might be a cartel hit. Okay. But anyhow, that is coming up with me. Um, so hopefully, and that happened in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and there is a lot of stuff that's on the cameras. Um, I felt like there was three people involved at least. Um, and one female comes in very strong. And, but the thing is, if you shoot somebody in the car, they had to be, and the windows were not broken. So that means the person had to be in the car to shoot them. Um, both of them did not have their phone. And I think that the FBI should be allowed to get, um, well, her phone was in the house. His phone is missing. I kept seeing sapphire 
something to do with sapphire either sapphire ring or the color sapphire he loves it I feel like it's associated with him sapphire and her more like beige and pink um, and yeah so that she was having a baby boy and his name was gonna be Fabian or is Fabian and all of them were killed so I will do a read on it I started it like that's that's the thing I started it and it's late at night I can't do it late at night because I'm scared I'm a scaredy cat I can't like I can't even do John Bonet at night even though I know John Bonet is safe She's in heaven, she told me, you know, she talked to me more in the last couple of days than she has ever talked to me. When I was really trying to talk to her, and a lot of people, a lot of psychics have had trouble, and I usually never have trouble with kids. I'm very good with the kids, especially. But she, I had trouble with her, and a lot of other people did too, but lately she's been like, I'm okay, I'm worried about my brother. She doesn't say she's worried about a father. <laughs> okay, anyhow, sorry. I shouldn't be so shady on New Year's Eve. Look at this action. Din, din, globes. Don't they look like crystal balls? They're little crystal solar balls. Oh. All right. Hello. You didn't bring the dogs in, did you? How come you didn't say hello when I said hello? From outside, we could see you playing cards. Did Connor get home? Did Connor get home? No. But it, he's not supposed to put the car out there. Right? He's not supposed to put the car out there. Right? Right? Okay. Aw, oh, these two kids. Hi, babies. You want to go back out? You want to go back out? I'll come out. Let's go play with the ball. There's the ball. Don't, don't bite each other. You being good? Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Hey! Is that Buddy? Let's see what these guys are doing. I love you! I love you! Going potty again? What'd you do the whole time you were out here? <laughs> oh, you're getting a toy. From the cemetery of crap. They were out here for like a half hour, now, but now he decides to go to the bathroom. Anyway, the sky looks beautiful tonight, this evening. Um, are you guys going to burn your Palo Santo at 12? Good boys! Um, you burn your Palo Santo. Uh, think about what you want to manifest. Don't think about like, oh, I want to lose 50 pounds. Even though, you know, I need to lose 50 pounds. Who doesn't? No, I know a lot of people are skinny out there. But anyway, like, make it a good one. Like, losing 50 pounds, yeah, you can help your health and whatnot but how about something like save the world uh, I'm gonna help children I'm gonna um, be more active with my family be more active with my friends be more active with strangers uh, you know uh, find my gifts and talents or use my gifts and talents from God more like, think of those things and write them down on paper or write them down in your um, journal. Just look at them. Or if you have them written already, if you have them written down already, 
then just see those lights up there they're, they're getting very weak these lights on my red thing anyhow if you have them written down already read them just read them before you have your last toast or if you don't drink that's okay have you make your coffee or your chamomile tea or your regular tea or your iced tea uh, your diet coke or your regular coke whatever it is that you like to drink make a special drink and say my focus for 2024 is you fill in the blank okay it might be something simple like I'm just gonna do more for myself you know there's a lot of people out there that always put themselves last they're called mothers and wives anyway maybe you want to not put yourself last why is this open guys okay so whatever it is wherever you go there you are okay. oh that's Connor coming in Come on, guys. Wanna go in? Wanna go in? Oh, there you go. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Love you. Love you. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. I gotta sign out. This is going on way too long. At least I did my walk and talk, though. Namaste. Love you.